doing? I'm glad you're here. Man, you get, I don't know if anybody told you this yet. You're looking good today. Dang. Wow. That is just amazing. All right. So listen, uh, I wanted to post this video really quickly because I feel like I have not done a good job for you explaining um, some of where I think we're going to go. So I, I have, you know, we're, we're trying to figure out how to best learn in this kind of environment. And I've talked about it with each of the classes, but I haven't made it explicit. So that's what I'm going to do in this video. I'm going to keep it nice and short. I'm going to tell you exactly what our plan is, what my job is, what your job is. And that way, if everybody's on the same page and it doesn't work, we can fix it. You see? If everybody's not on the same page, it's just not working, but it would be my fault because I haven't communicated to you what it is that we're doing and how it all fits together. Okay? So, uh, schedule wise, um, we're going to have like a, a loop. So, Monday, Tuesday is a full loop, Wednesday is a review, and then Thursday, Friday, full loop. So, here's what that is. On on part one, that would be on a Monday, and on Thursday, we're not going to meet, not typically. We're not going to meet on Monday, we're not going to meet on Thursday, because what we're going to do instead is we're going to be doing this thing called a, we're going to try a flipped classroom approach, and what a flipped classroom approach is, is instead of you listening to me lecture, and then you get some partial ideas, and you get some misconceptions, and you try homework, and then when we review homework, that's when we come to resolve those issues. Instead of doing it that way, what you're going to be doing on Monday and on Thursday is you're going to be reading, you're going to watch videos, you're going to try some practice problems, right? That's how you're going to get develop a, a rough understanding of the concept at hand. Then you're going to try the practice problems. And then on Tuesday and on Friday, we'll meet and review how it works. Uh, the, the thing is, there's a couple benefits about doing it this way, right? Um, one is... The way I teach is I ask lots of questions and it goes back and forth well, between you, students, and me. And I don't just give you top-down information. I'll give you like an idea and then I'll ask you questions about that idea. Because what ends up happening is no matter how well a teacher can tell you something, you will always misunderstand at least a little bit. Exposing those misunderstandings causes confusion and that confusion leads to understanding. It's when that misunderstanding is, is exposed and corrected, that's when you learn, right? So there's no way for me to just tell you and you get it. That's not, how, that's not how learning works. That's how reciting facts works. That's how programming works. But it's not how understanding works. And that's not how you develop to be a critical thinker and a problem solver. And that's our purpose, is to help you become a critical thinker and a problem solver, right? So on Monday, and on Thursday, I'm going to give you some reading to do. And that's a, there's another benefit of the reading. Oh, man. If there is one skill that you develop in school that will greatly impact the quality of your life, it is the ability to read and understand. That is it. That is the one skill that will absolutely pay off. The rest are soft skills. The ability to crit critically think, the ability to weigh information, the ability to appreciate different points of view and finding validity in things that, validity in ideas that are kind of foreign to you. Um, all of those soft skills are super, super important, but we can't teach them directly. We have to approach those through the different subjects. So, um, but reading, but reading is something we can do directly. So your ability to read is going to improve during this session. It's going to be a little bit uncomfortable because anytime you improve, it's uncomfortable. That means you have to leave your old self behind in order for your new self to come to be. If you want to be better today, then you have to let go of who you were tomorrow. And that has to happen every single day. And it's uncomfortable. Learning to read well, improving your ability to read and understand, absolutely important skill. One that will impact your life on a daily basis. And that's what we're going to be doing. I'm going to provide you with notes, you're going to read them, you're going to take notes, all that kind of stuff, right? So, here's your job. Uh, your job is on Monday and on Thursday, you need to read carefully, take the time, don't distract yourself, turn off all your distractions, just read, take notes, write down ideas, write down questions especially, work through the practice problems on your own, and then try the homework problems at the end, right? And then, when we meet on Tuesday and on Friday, I'm not going to come in with an, an agenda. I might have one or two things that I know we need to discuss, but the rest is going to come from you. You're going to share with me what it is that it was confusing, what it is you're having trouble with. 
and that's how we're going to expose those misconceptions, correct them, and that way you come away with a better understanding. Okay? So now, public service announcement by Mr. Brown. If you come to me and you just say, I don't get it, I can't help you. If you say, I don't get it, I cannot help you because I don't get it's not a question. It's a statement. It's a cry for help. But I don't know what's wrong. I don't get it. Well, I'm sorry you don't get it. I wish you did. But I can't like just give it to you. That's not how learning works. Um, so your job is you have to say what it is that you do not get. And if you've been my student in the past, then you may have experienced this. The moment you go from I don't get it to I don't get this is often the moment you understand. It is. Now, if you want to do yourself an even better favor, you start, start with the emotional response, I don't get it, and you stop and you make yourself say what it is you do not get. But then if you can ask yourself, why don't I get that? then you're really on the path to understanding. And here's the deal. It might take a little while at first. You get faster at this, okay? But if you can figure it out on your own, then number one, you've developed the skill to figure out difficult things on your own. That's going to make you, oh man, that is a tool for success if there ever was one. Being able to figure out something difficult on your own is massively, massively important. Here's the other thing, though, just for school's purposes, right? If you can figure it out on your, on your own, you're not going to forget it. If you can figure it out on your own, you will remember on test day. If I tell you, your friend tells you, you Google it, right? Um, you're going to forget it. You'll, you'll learn it quicker the next time, and you're going to forget it. And then you'll learn it faster the next time, and you'll forget it. And then after some, you know, some certain amount of number of times that this iteration repeats itself, all of a then, then it'll stick. But if you can make it, if you can make that, if you can take yourself from confused and misunderstanding to clarity, if you can write a question, you can identify why you have that question, what it is about that that's confusing, then you can explore that and often you will come away with understanding that will stick. So it's an investment up front in, you know, in yourself. You're investing in yourself when you're exploring these things. You are definitely developing your mind. And that will translate. That is the whole purpose of this. So big idea. That's, that's super, super important. Um, so anyway, uh, to review, here's what's going to happen, right? Uh, Monday, Thursday, we're not meeting. I'm giving you information you're going to read. You're going to try stuff. I will provide you with practice problems or access to practice problems for some of those foundational skills that you might not have. Like, so for example, if you're in pre-calculus and we're going to do some stuff with polynomials, you have to be able to factor a quadratic. You might not be good at that. I will give you a link to some internet-based uh, remedial practice. If you don't know how to do those things, that is perfectly fine, but you have to fix it, and it's your responsibility. I don't mean to stand here and point the finger. I'm here to help you fulfill that responsibility, but I cannot do it for you. I can give you the help, I can give you the direction, I can give you the encouragement, and um, it's ultimately up to you to take advantage of it, okay? So anyway, that's, those are the things I wanted to say. On Monday, Wednesday, no, Monday, Tuesday, <laughs> Monday, Thursday, we're not meeting. On Tuesday, Friday, we meet, but we're going to be discussing your questions and issues so that you can deeply understand whatever it is that we're learning, right? On Wednesday, I'm available for remediation. That's for when we're really, really stuck. Like, if, if you're falling behind and you can't keep up, Wednesday's your day. I'm also available ELO, emails, all those kinds of things, right? So before school and all that. Um, you can hit me up. I'm available here for you to help to help you out. That's it. Here's one last thing, right? Uh, nah, I'll save the one last thing for another video. So anyway, you guys are awesome, <laughs> and I hope you have a good day.